This morning, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's emergency order to limit transgender health care has been put on hold temporarily. A St. Louis County judge made that decision and Sydney Salworth is joining us live from the St. Louis County Courthouse in Clayton with what is expected to happen next. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. In court yesterday, a St. Louis County judge heard from both the AG's office and groups filing a lawsuit against his emergency order to limit gender affirming care for adults and children in the state of Missouri. After listening to both sides, the judge decided to take more time to make a decision. Now, the judge in this case is Judge Ellen Rabato, who's placed the emergency order on hold for five days to review the arguments made. The ACLU and lawyers for local health care providers and their transgender patients are asking for a temporary restraining order. The AG's emergency order says gender affirming health care is experimental and new trans patients would have to undergo 18 months of mental health counseling before they could start transgender medical treatments of any kind. Josh Devine with the Attorney General's office argued in court yesterday, quote, this is not a ban at all. You can get all these things, but you have to go through talk therapy first. The groups filing the lawsuit say gender care is not experimental experimental and the AG's emergency order is inhumane. Now Bailey said in a statement following the judge's ruling yesterday, quote, this order merely stays the implementation of our rules so the court can review the briefing. We will continue fighting for all patients to have access to adequate health care. Now the judge will make her decision by five o'clock Monday evening regarding a possible temporary restraining order.